the lab environment is hazardous by nature. The actual risk is largely determined by you and those working with you. It's your responsibility to know and follow the rules and be able to recognize potential safety hazards. The first consideration is proper dress. What you wear in the lab can help prevent serious, even fatal injuries. Often, you'll be working with chemicals that could harm you if they come into contact with your skin. So the best way to prevent skin exposure is to wear clothes that cover your entire body. Shorts and sandals leave your skin exposed, so instead, wear long pants and closed-toed shoes. Remove jewelry before entering the lab and tie back long hair. Bring only the things that you need into the lab. Leave all personal items like backpacks, purses, or jackets outside so they don't become contaminated. Now that you're properly dressed for the lab, let's take a look at Personal Protective Equipment, or PPE. For general lab work, a lab coat, safety glasses or goggles, and gloves are required. Always button your coat and try to keep the cuffs tucked into your gloves. Wear a chemical apron if you're working with splash hazards, volatile or reactive solutions. Safety glasses can protect your eyes from flying debris. However, these glasses won't protect you from splash hazards. That's why you may need to wear chemical resistant safety goggles. Always wear gloves in the lab. Be sure to choose the most appropriate type. You need gloves that are resistant to the chemicals you'll be handling. These gloves are non-absorbent. Even so, chemicals can leach through over time, so it's a good idea to change your gloves and wash your hands frequently, especially if they've come into contact with chemicals. Thermal and puncture-resistant gloves are used for handling extremely hot or cold materials, such as when using the autoclave, handling dry ice, or handling sharps. Some chemicals produce dangerous vapors. A respirator can protect you. However, by law, you must first complete the proper training. So ask your lab manager or instructor about respirator training. Always remove PPE and wash your hands before leaving the lab and entering public areas. And be aware that you can spread chemical or biological contamination by touching items such as light switches, doorknobs, or even phones while your gloves are still on. Dressing for the lab and wearing personal protective equipment will minimize the risk for exposure or harm, but clothing and PPE aren't enough to keep you safe. We'll take a closer look at safety equipment in our next lesson.